So momentum's conserved, Mr. Duggan. It always is conserved. It is. It's no always. matter what. This is uh, this is the textbook definition, which says for a given interaction between objects, the net change in momentum is zero. Which so kind the of before is going to equal the after. Right. So things collide, and you add up all the momenta. Could be a lot of them. Could be, right? So this is not terribly unlike the the kind of work that we were doing with with energy. Energy all conserved. the energy before and the energy after, except instead of having force times distance plus one half mv squared plus mghs, there it's just all momentums. So that kind of makes it almost even easier. I think the math is easier, but momentum has a direction, so you got to be careful. Exactly, about direction. you got to figure out is it going positive or negative. But overall, it don't change. So this is this is a, a non rigorous proof. Let's make the universe uh, uh, consist of two objects. There's there's A and there's B, right? And uh, if A is going to change the momentum, it's that the B has to exert a force, right, on them for some amount of time. This is what impulse or something, right? Yeah. And if B is going to change the momentum, the only thing that could push on them is A, because that's the only other object in the entire universe, right? And some people had a tough time figuring out that this is a picture of two people like people, grappling. Like these are their head and their space. arms like that and then legs and stuff. Like stick Locked figures. in mortal combat. Yeah, this is Mr. Out in Duggan's. Space. This is Mr. Duggan's take on this. So so and then you guys know that if if B exerts a force on A, that the force that's on B is negative the force that's on A. This is Newton's what third law. We don't know why this is. Just everything is that way, right? And then we know that those equal and opposite forces exist for equal amounts of time. Because as long as one is pushing on the other and they're connected, it is the same amount of time. One can't push on the other one for a longer time because they're still connected until they actually separate. But you can try. You know, all attempts to do that though have failed. Now, if you're if you're uh, if you're watching, if B is a negative A, right, then these guys must be equal and opposite. Right, so this is positive five. That's negative five. This is positive six. This is negative six. Right. So if we add those together, if they're always equal and opposite, then the net change in momentum has got to be what? It's got to be zero, right? Yep. Always. So equal and opposite forces acting for equal amounts of time cause equal and opposite changes in momentum, which always add to zero. So you can never change the momentum of the universe. It's sad, isn't it? It's most unfortunate. But that's the way it is, and that's how we figure out these problems. All right, so 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 really, what we want to get down to is uh, Bob and Sally. We're going to solve a problem here, right? And over here, we're going to write down the steps, right? And the first thing you should do is draw a picture. I think because if you can draw the picture from the word problem, you can solve the momentum. And some people are like averse to drawing the picture. They don't want to draw the picture. They're like, well, why not? I mean, I'm not very good at art. I mean, Mr. Murray's great at art. I mean, look at it. Look at me. Okay. And there is Sally, but you got to give her some hair. Yeah. Now, 60 kilogram Sally. Remember, that's what they call her, 60 kilogram Sally. Hi, I'm 60 kilogram Sally. Yeah. And uh, you could tell if she's running at four and a half meters per second toward Bob. You know, Bob is like kind of running towards Sally, and we're not really sure if it's because you know maybe Bob's not quite into Sal as into Sally as much as she is into him. But you know, or, or maybe he's just slow. Yeah. But you know, she's pretty fired up. I mean, she's running almost twice as fast as him. Right. So he doesn't know what he's. Now, got. do you know the story about Bob and Sally? I don't. Well, they dated. They dated. People thought they were going to get married, but but uh, right out of college, Bob got a job um, in in industry, and Sally went to, to Paris to be in the, the the U.S. embassy, right? Oh wow! Right, and they kept in touch for a while, but then they, they never got they sort of drifted apart. But neither one of them found somebody else, right? Wow! So when this word problem happens, it's actually uh, uh, springtime in Paris, and the you know, pe flower petals are falling down from the trees. And, and, but it's very cold because the Seine River that flows through Paris is frozen. And you would say the, the surface of the river is nearly frictionless, right? Okay. And their eyes meet across the Seine River. And the music swells and starts to play. And they run toward each other with well-defined masses and velocities, right? Yes? I buy in it. Yep. And afterwards, they, 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 you know, their bodies meet in an affectionate in embrace. In a loving, 
right? Their like, bodies meet in a loving embrace. Right? It's like... Finally, so at last. Right? And, and of course, um, the question, you know, we could ask, you know, is a relationship at this point realistic? Well, I don't know. I mean, Given that they didn't find time to maintain the relationship, right? But the real question that we're going to answer is, what is the velocity of their entwined bodies? That's the one that physics can answer. Yeah. The other one, we're just going to have to speculate maybe a little bit after the problem. So our big thing here is we got to figure out what their momentums are. We got to decide which direction is going to be what. And we, we always say to the right is I'm going to make positive. east positive. So I'm going to make her velocity positive, positive. And then his velocity is negative. And this is key. That's the key thing. You got to make one direction positive, the other direction negative. A head-on collision, one of them has got to be negative, right? Remember, if like his velocity is positive and he's running to the right, that changes the entire genre of the film. Oh, yeah. It's going to be like a stalker Yeah, it's like, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like. Okay. So the last, the final step here, well, it's almost the final track. step, is, is that you just, you just, for every object that's moving, you, you calculate the momentum, right? P yep. is MV, right? So this is 60 times 4.5. Plus. That's positive, right? Yeah. And then he is 80 times negative 2.3. And that's going to be the momentums of both objects before. And then we got to set the whole thing equal to what should we use for the mass after? Well, since they're embracing, shouldn't we go for 140? Yeah, so 60 plus 80, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be 140 is what it's going to be. Their so, combined mass. And you see those people in the hall. Sometimes you see the, the people that are, that are embracing. You're like, yeah, we can just add their masses together. Yeah, right? Break it up. Get a room. I know. Good. And then that's times V, Right. Right. So Mr. Dugan, he's going to calculate what's so 60 times 4.5. So we got 4. 60 5. times 4.5. That's looking at about 270. Positive 270. Then 80 times negative 2.3. More mass, less velocity. 80 times negative 2.3. That's looking negative 184. Ooh. So she's carrying more momentum into the relationship. As it were. So overall, on the left-hand side of the equation, we're looking at 86 because we're going to combine the 270 and negative 84, and that's equal to 140 times V. Now, there are some children earlier this year who were bad at math who thought they should subtract No, no, no. You want to divide this one. This, this is divide. Divide man. both sides by 140. And so you're looking at a velocity of 0. 0.614. Two, eight, five, seven, all of these <laughs> other numbers. But we're just going to round to two numbers. Um, we don't really or need three. the four. You could leave this. This is with three. two numbers. That's the best. Yeah, that's fine. But, you know, the idea here, though, is it, like, could they overcome that, that long distance love I relationship? Know. I don't know, Mr. Deegan. Well, I think it's mostly, if it's up to Sally, I think Sally's there. I mean, she knocks the guy backwards and they're moving backwards. <laughs> But maybe Bob just gets a little emotionally fragile about it. He's it could not be. Sure I'm not sure if he can shield himself. They, it turns from, out they do. They live happily ever after. They do live happily do. after. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Oh, so one final thing here: we set it up so that east was positive and west was negative. Right, that's the direction Bob's going. Um, but somebody reading this problem and looking at your answer might not know that you set it up that way. So really, what you want to say? Notice how the answer is 0. 0.61 meters per second east. Right, so you always want to go back to what positive meant and what negative meant. Yeah, that's yeah. smart. So anyway, that's what it is. I think you should look at, this is such a fundamentally important thing, you should look as, as, at a lot of the following examples. We're going to stop this video here, but I would look at some of the other examples, work them out, um, and then come to class ready to solve really, really hard ones, because these are pretty easy. Yeah. We're going to be solving harder ones, way harder ones. Yeah, fasten your seatbelts, thrill seekers. <laughs>